Yo, yo, yo! Today, I'm gonna be turning my 2016 Sun Dolphin Scout SS Canoe into a fisherman's dream canoe. Or at least, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So we've got the frame built for the coolers. Coolers are in place. Seems pretty decent. I'll probably end up um, running some bolts all the way through the cooler with some wing nuts. That way the coolers can be removed. And then um, we're getting ready now. I'm gonna run some supports right beside this that way this thing can be uh, can be completely removed from the canoe um, pretty easy and then I'll build my deck and uh, we, we're getting close to being done so super excited for this thing see how it's gonna turn out I've got to do is uh, cut my decking and carpet it. I've got these coolers in, the frame all built, everything secure. Also, I've got left to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna drill uh, drill these out and uh, secure so I can secure these coolers. I've seen people run ratchet straps from the handles underneath to the other handle. I don't really like that. I want something a little more stable. So I'm gonna throw some wing nuts, um, drill all the way through the cooler on the front and back side. That way the coolers are still removable, so it'll essentially be four pieces. I'll have the frame itself, the two coolers, or three pieces, I guess it'd be. The frame itself and the two coolers. So all I did here, show you where we're at. Frame this thing up, I secured it uh, with some quarter inch hex head bolts. This is one inch aluminum square tubing. I got it at Lowe's, it comes in eight foot runs, about 20 bucks a piece. I ended up three, worked out perfect. So um, I left these long runs at the eight foot mark. I measured the canoe and I ended up securing this to the canoe itself, same thing, quarter inch hex heads. So what I ended up doing here, the reason for that is I joined the frame to these runs with these uh, these lock pins that way I can quickly take all four of these out and then uh, I can take this thing off so then I'll have you know it'll be a lot easier to move it around a lot easier to set it up to the wingman outfitter that I kind of copied this idea from they ran a ratchet strap from the frame under the canoe through the other side of the frame. I wasn't really uh, digging that. I don't want to be out there trying to lift the canoe up and get a ratchet strap under it. I like this idea a lot better. So yeah, all I got left to do is um, cut that decking, carpet it. I'll probably take this middle seat out. That way we got storage for uh, tackle boxes and whatnot. And we will have a canoe with a casting deck and lots of beer slash live well storage. So I picked these igloo coolers up at Dollar General. Um, I found some decent ones at Walmart too, but they were a lot more expensive. So hopefully it all works out. We'll see. Um, this is like, this build's under $200. The wingman costs 500. So I was gonna go with the wingman, but I messaged them to try and get some dimensions. I wanted to see how long it was, how much it weighed. Never heard anything back, so. Um, decided to just build it myself. I kind of got this general idea from a fella online 
I think his name was uh, on YouTube. I think his name was Jesse Peterson. So there it is. So here is the completed version of the Scout SS pontoon canoe. Pond canoe. We got the coolers in here. We got the carpeted casting deck. The only thing I got to do is take out that other seat under there. For storage. Throw a trolling motor on this bad boy. This thing is rated for a two horsepower outboard motor. So uh, that's probably what we'll eventually do. Unfortunately, a little ticked off because I've got to freaking register this thing just to put a trolling motor on it. Now, I hope it performs as good as it looked because it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Thanks for watching, y'all.